to another RX-8 video here. Uh, I'm going to be drifting hot August nights. It's going to be hot in August at night. <laughs> anyway, I bought a Mishimoto uh, racing thermostat, lower temp thermostat. It says it's 100. Oh, if it focuses. Focus. I guess it's not going to. Anyway, oh, there it goes. 169 degrees. It looks funky compared to thermostats that I am used to. It's got a weird... And that gasket looks big. I don't know. <clears throat> I do know that it's going to go right there. Um, we've got one bolt here and one bolt. <sighs> you can see it there. That's the bolt right here. However, that bolt is also the same bolt that is the top mount for this aluminum. Oops. For this uh, alternator bracket. See, there's two bolts down there by that belt and then that top one right there. So those have to come loose, come off. Uh, this is going to have to come off here as well for the alternator. Loosen all that up and then these two hoses right here, these two hose clamps here and here should come off and it should come out and hopefully the thermostat looks something like that and I can put it in. Otherwise I'll be putting the old one back in and going to the store. Alright well first hang up. I mean this came off easy. The belt's just hanging there. This top bolt right there that one that nut was loose I mean I didn't have to break it loose but whoever did the rest of the bracket because that's that upper one these two right there those 12s those are so tight that I'm gonna end up stripping them and you can see it's leaking a little bit of coolant it did break the seal on it trying to see if I could get it out but I do have to take this bracket all the way off with that thermostat up so I'm probably gonna have to take off this pulley right here so that I can get a full box end on those or a socket because an open inch was just wanting to strip them all right so getting that pulley off was kind of tricky there's three 10 millimeter uh, bolts that are holding that on but because of where the battery box is i couldn't actually get to them i had to put my belt back on the alternator tighten the alternator up loosen the one loosen the alternator so i could turn that uh, water pump pulley to get to the next one back and forth so i finally got it i pulled two out and left one in because i have enough room now hoping I should be able to put a box end on those 12s and I should get that bracket off. All right, I finally got the thermostat out and it's what I, what I expected it to look like. I mean, your standard thermostat with a freaking gasket around it. Um, this one, it's the 82 degrees Celsius. This Mushimoto Racing one is, it says it, where can I find it? It does say 85 on it somewhere. There it is, focuses. Yeah, see, 85 degrees Celsius, so it's not, it technically opens warmer, but it is a different thermostat. I don't know if it's going to fit in there or not. It came with this weird gasket that I don't see that being used. And I'm assuming i got to pull this gasket off of here and put it on the new one? I don't know. I don't like that. I'm going to do a well, little bit more Well, for shits and giggles, I pulled the gasket off the old one, and you can see the gap. I mean, that doesn't even fit. It's not tight. I wonder if... This is the wrong thermostat that got sent to me. Let me see the box again. RX-8 before L, 4 to 10 RX-8. This is a 2004 RX-8. I don't understand. Guess I'll be putting my old thermostat back in. Boo! Well, I just stuck my old thermostat back in there because it fit. Threw the thing on, now I just gotta bolt everything back together. What a waste of time. What a waste of time. Hopefully I can either get my money back or some bullshit. All right, well, car is running. Old thermostat is back in it. Everything's bolted back up. Belts are back on. I'm just letting it warm up so it can push out any air bubbles in the system. Pull it back over water. Anyway, like I said already, boo on my new Mishimoto thermostat. I'm not blaming Mishimoto. I need to research, figure out which one I got. You know, maybe I just need to get the right thermostat. All right, well, since the thermostat was a no-go, I went ahead and returned that to Amazon. Got my money back for the thermostat and the gasket for the housing that I bought <laughs> that I didn't need. And I went ahead and bought the uh, fan cooling kit from rx8performance.com. Basically, it's just, oops, it's just um, a little inline hose and through the middle there that's actually got a little temperature sensor. It's got a couple of relays that I'm going to wire up and run somehow over here. These two right here, these top two of this bottom row is, according to the thing here, cooling fan one and cooling fan two. 
um, according to their directions. It does not matter which relay I put in which. They gave us a couple of hose clamps, but basically we're going to make a cut in here somewhere. It does say near a 90, so I think, I think this end here or on this side of one of these spots we're going to cut out about that much room. So two to three inches, two and a half inches. Splice this in, ground it out, hook it up, and voila. My fans, as you can see right down here, these two are all electronically controlled and they will be coming on at lower temperatures now. Try and keep this thing cool for hot August nights. All right, so I've got it laid out just to verify everything's long enough. So I'm gonna set it right here so that it'll be just before this plastic clamp that holds it in place, it's just gonna fit right in this area. So I'll be cutting out this section of hose here, verifying that my ground wire is indeed long enough. Here's my ground right here. So I'll, uh, I'll have it routed down there and I'll put it on there. And for the relays, this wire is going to come up here and I'm going to neatly zip tie it somewhere along here. Basically, it comes off here. I've got my two relays. They're going to plug in. Yeah, so, I mean, this is going to be a really simple install. Should All right, I'm one step further here. I've got my ground, securely ground on this spot here. And it's kind of tucked under there. I haven't zip tied the wire yet, but I ran the wire down. You can see where it's going across and I've got my two relays in now. It does suggest that you cut a little V-notch in the side of your um, fuse box here so these wires don't get pinched when you put the lid back on. I have come in and I have cut out this section of hose right here. You can see it's about the length of uh, the thermostat unit here. Basically now I'm just going to stick these two ends in there, uh, make sure you get my clamps on there first and clamp that down. Okay, well it's done, I think. So I've got, I had a notch out, both the lid and the base had a notch out so the cable come out. I've just got them, I did a little zip tie around it and stuck the tail in under these nuts here because I don't have anything being held on anymore. So basically I just tighten the nuts down on the zip tie and cut off the excess. That way it just holds that zip tie in place. Got it running up here. I've got it kind of underneath here so it pinches in. And then my ground comes out. It's just kind of underneath there and you can see it grounds up on that little notch there. So it's grounded, hoses are on, clamps are on, should be tight. Got a relays in, I mean it's done. Time to fire it up and make sure she doesn't leak. Um, but yeah, I'll fire it up and see if those fans kick on sooner. I don't see why they wouldn't. Well, I just fired up the car. It's not hardly warm at all. Um, fans are already on. It is a hot, hot day out here. It's June 30th, last day of, uh, oh, it's the sun. Cool. Anyway, last day of uh, June and uh, I don't think there's any leaks. I don't know if there's water going through that or not yet. Probably not. Let's see if I topped off here. Yeah, it's full. This thing doesn't actually work that well. It doesn't go down. The, the top is too high for the water. Hey, the fans cut off. So yeah, those fans definitely kick on sooner. Oh yeah, it just kicked on again. So yeah, that should definitely help keep the engine cooler. For sure. For sure, for sure. I'll let it go ahead and finish warming up. But uh, there you go, everybody. So hopefully I will see some of you folks in Reno at Hot August Nights. Uh, feel free to come find me, ask for a ride along. All right, well, I just got back from the test drive. Um, we're running a good temperature, I guess. Fans stayed on most of the time, but uh, yeah, it seemed to work well. I stopped at an auto parts store, picked up some water wetter, uh, getting ready for August. That's all I'm doing for the next month or so, just prepping for the next event.